guys, it's Huff. I'm back in and this is going to be an update on my Project Polish for 2017, which if you've been watching, you will know is a mini edition. I will leave a link to my intro down below. This is the second update that I have done for this project. Um, I was not very good at marking where my borders were the first time and a lot of the marks actually wore off because I didn't know any... I didn't even think about that. Um, now I tend to uh, put a top coat over the top of the polish, like the line on the polish bottom, bottle. So that has helped a lot. So we will just go through them all. Some of them have some visible growth, movement, whatever. Others do not. None of them are finished. Um, as I explained in my last update, I tend to only paint one hand at a time with a particular polish. Manicures are only done on four fingers uh, most of the time because most of my manicures I do for nail art challenges and I really only need four fingers for those. So like I have one nail polish on this hand and I have another one on this hand. This one is not in the project. Um, that is Pineapples Have Peelings too, which has been one of my I must have polishes for quite some time. Mainly because of the name. But anyway. Okay, so we will go through where we are. The first polish is from Mia Nail Lacquer, which no longer exists. It is called Wild Lavender. It is this colour right here. And that is what it looks like in the bottle. This line has not really moved. I think I've only used it on like one nail. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that one hasn't really moved. The next one is also from Mingye. It is When Clouds Dream, which is this one here. Um, this one has had a teeny tiny little bit of movement right there. Then we have the South Bank from Nails Inc, which is just a flat grey polish. That's that one there. Its line has moved the tiniest bit. This one was actually completely full when I first started using it. So this only moved a tiny bit. If I use polish on this hand, I use a lot more than if I do it on this hand where the nails are quite a bit shorter. The next one is from Max Factor. It is called Cactus Green. Um, that's that one there. This one was also brand new. It is around about there still. Um, I haven't used that one as much. The next one is also from Max Factor. This is a Fantasy Fire. This has moved the teeniest tiny bit. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see the two lines because of the colour of the polish underneath, but it's about there. Um, that is it over a dark colour. Then we have W7 It's Pink. Best name ever. Makes my camera freak out. Uh, that's where I'd marked last time. It hasn't moved a whole lot from there, so I haven't marked another line. This one has moved a bit. This is from L'Oreal La, La Collection, or LA Collection. Maybe it's LA Collection. Uh, Crystals, this is in 203. And as you can see, that one has moved enough that it's actually really visible where the mark is. <laughs> Go figure. Then we have uh, Teal Unreal from Orly. Um, I was using a teal coloured uh, texture, stupidly enough. Um, it's actually right there. Um, so it's actually moved a little bit, but you can't actually see it. It just, but it's literally right at the top of the writing. So. Uh, the next one is Lemonade, which is actually the polish I have on this hand. It comes off so much brighter on the nails than it does in the bottle. Um, and as you can see, its line has moved. It's, this one's actually really, really hard to see through the bottle. It doesn't slide down the sides very well. So, uh, yeah, that's where that one is. The next one has not moved. Not that I can tell. Anyway, this is Pink Waterfall, also by Orly. Those marks were the marks that were up last time. Also from Orly, we have VIP. This one has moved. 
it has moved from up there to down there. So that one's made a bit of bit of progress. Then we have icing sugar from Maybelline Colorama. This is another one that has moved just a teeny tiny little bit. With a lot of these bottles, they get smaller as the further you go down, so they actually will move faster later on, or appear to move faster, even though they don't. It's just the shape of the bottle. Uh, this Colorama is electric blue. It does not look like it has actually moved from last time. So it does not have a new mark. Uh, this one has moved. Um, oh, wrong one. This one is Maybelline's Wonder Violet. This one, again, has not really moved from last time. The one that has moved is one that I've been wearing a lot because for some reason I fell in love with it. Um, and it was really good for February for all of the like Valentine's Day ones. This is fruit juice and you can see how much it moved. It made quite a decent jump because I wore it quite a bit on four fingers. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> then we have the other mini colorama in Tarte, which is this one here. It also has not really moved. And the last one, did them out of order, is Dark Chocolate from Colorama. It's actually moved quite a bit. It was up there and now it's down there. there. Um, this is actually really dark brown, not a black. It looks black, but it's actually brown. So, that was the update for my Project Polish Mini Edition for 2017. If you like these kind of videos, then leave me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the notifications bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!